Hey guys, welcome to the 58th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the uh, directory class just a little bit more. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button. And once you have that on your form, just double click on it. So, right here we have a folder browser dialog, and we also have an if statement checking to see if the user selects a folder in the folder browser dialog. Also, you're going to need to be using the namespace system.io because the directory class is in there. So once you have this code, um, just type out the directory class inside of the if statement, and then use a dot operator to access all of the methods inside the class. So the first method that we're going to be looking at is the create directory, and the create directory will just create a directory or a folder. So we're going to need to um, have a path to the directory that we want to create. So we're going to use the um, path that the user selects in the folder browser dialog. Now, not only do we need the path to where to create the folder, we also need um, what we're going to name the folder. And in order to name the folder, we're just going to use um, we're just going to have to add on to this string um, the location of the folder that we want to create. So if we wanted to name our folder like well, I don't know Adam, then we would have to do um, plus, and then we'll have to do um, two, uh, I guess, backslashes, I don't know. And you have to put two of these here because a single backslash will um, tell C Sharp to ignore this quote, so you could have quotes inside of uh, a string. So we're going to have to have two um, backslashes to cancel it out, and then we're going to want to give a name to our folder. I'm just going to call it Adam. So what this will do is it will add on this string to the end of our um, uh, directory. So if we had like um, like C slash user slash Adam slash desktop and then slash test folder and then slash Adam, what that will do is that will tell it to create a folder called Adam inside of the test folder. So now when we debug and click a button and click this button right here we get a folder browser dialog. Now we're just going to create another folder inside of this test folder right here. Click OK, and we should have another folder inside of the test folder called Adam. Check right here. Yep, we now have a folder called Adam. And like I said before, this will just add it, um, this Adam, to whatever folder that we already selected. So if we wanted to create um, another folder called Adam inside of this folder one, we could do that. We'll just do button one. We'll select this folder one right here, click OK, and now inside of folder one we should have a folder called Adam. Yep, right there, test folder, folder one, Adam. Go back, click folder one, yep, we have a folder called Adam inside of it. The next thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to move directories. So all you're going to want to do is do dot move, and then first you're just going to want to put, it says right here, on the source directory name or the path of the file or directory to move. So if we wanted to move this um, folder called Adam that we just created, we can do that. So we're going to have to give the path to the folder that we want to move. And we're just going to have it be the folder that we select in the folder browser dialog. And then the second parameter that we have to pass through here is the um, path to the file that we want it to move to. So if we wanted to move it to um, inside of this uh, do or folder 2 here, we would have to tell it to move it to there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create, um, we're just going to have it, we're just going to type out the string. So it's just going to be C slash, and then whatever your user, or actually C slash users, and then slash whatever um, user you're on, like if your user account is like, I don't know, mine's Adam. And then you're going to want to put another slash, and then to wherever your folder that you want to move is, and mine is inside of my desktop, and then called test folder, and then there's a folder inside of that called uh, folder 2. So we're going to have to type out a lot here, but it's going to be desktop, and then slash test folder, and there's a space in it, and then slash um, folder 2. So and then what it will do is it will move whatever folder we have selected in the folder browser dialog to this folder 2 directory. However, we're not done yet. We also have to um, give a name to this folder that we're now moving. And since the folder that we're moving is called Adam, we're just going to um, call it Adam. 
So what it will do is it will move the folder, this folder right here, into this folder. So now we're just going to debug, select the folder that we want to move. Um, I'm just going to move this Atom folder. And it should move it into folder 2. Click OK. Now when we go in here, click folder 2, we see the Atom folder is not inside of this test folder anymore. Yep, it's now inside of this folder 2. And the final thing that I'm going to show you how to do is how to delete a folder. So we're just going to do dot delete to access the delete method. And then we're just going to um, provide the path to the folder that we want to delete. And that's just going to be whatever folder we select in the folder browser dialog. So now, click this button, get our folder browser dialog. We browse to a folder that we want to delete. I'm just going to delete this uh, Atom folder right here. Click OK. The Atom folder should no longer be there anymore. So now if we go on to my desktop, get to that test folder, see now, yep, we don't have that Atom folder anymore. So that's it for this tutorial, and that's it for the directory class. So see you guys.